Hey guys, it's your girl Diva. Yes, indeed, y'all know what it is. No one can stand up against the power that you have within you because you are connected to the Most High. No one can stand up against that wind or that power that you bring. No one will and no one can. And that's on people. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive deep into the message. All right, let's go ahead and dive deep into the message. <laughs> All right, let me see. I am the diva, you heard about me. About to give you a message, come listen to me. I'm a, a diva, I'm a, I'm a, a diva. That's my intro. If you like it, be sure to hit the like button. All right, guys, the first cards that come from my uh, messages, okay, is uh, they ganged up on you. Human sacrifice. So someone may have been trying to sacrifice you or sacrifice um your what you have in your life some things or people that you have in your life um a lot of you guys talk about getting gang stalked um i feel like a lot of you guys have whoever have been feeling like you're gang stalked this is definitely coming into the message but if you don't feel that way this could just definitely well be like people around you that have ganged up on you to um you know just to try to prove you that you're wrong to get to keep people from liking you and you know just ganging up on you like yeah i don't like her either you know some of your enemies have ganged up together to try to you know they enemies though they don't even like each other but they ganging up on you they coming together to try to sabotage each other and i feel like they're sacrificing their own self because they're gonna end up hurting each other in the long run all right let's dive deep into this message these people out here be foolish right i'm already knowing i'm already knowing baby all right, come to the spirit and these guys and guys, Holy Spirit, I ask that you bring this message and let it come to you as smooth as possible. Okay. In Jesus' name, amen. Type amen in the comments and drop me a unicorn, guys. What's up? Say, what's up, the unicorn? Unicorn. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Y'all know me. I've been seeing how I'm going to sing. I could sing the whole I could sing the whole reading. <laughs> so we got the magician card here, okay? This could be an air sign here showing up here. Um, is this um uh, magic? It says magic hecka. This is hecka, the magic card. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys had red flags that someone was using some type of form of magic or some type of um, you know, trying to bring a stop to your life because their red light is here. Someone may have been you either got a red flag or you just was like a stop. Somebody tried to stop you from progressing in your life because they wanted to, um, you know, break your peace. Someone wants to break your peace. They can see how happy and peaceful you are in your life at this moment. Um, I'm getting a father who just really didn't approve of you being with some male or a father that didn't approve of you being the way that you are in a maybe you you turned went to the, you know you didn't go the way that this, your dad wanted you to go but i'm picking up a male certainly like you were supposed to consult with them they wanted you to consult with them and if it's not a male it could be a female that is just like the mother and the father of the family or she's very dominant in a dominant energy just really like trying to stop you from progressing in what you're doing because they wanted you to be doing something else they didn't want you to go this route they didn't, they wanted you to be somewhere else in life some of you guys this person just didn't want you to move they didn't want you to move out of town or something and they did their best to try to stop you someone was talking a lot of noise to the family or talking a lot of noise to other people about your move or about what you did or about the things that you chose to do in life saying you know kind of talking down on you baby like you know, she wrong for that. She's not even good at what she does or he's not even um, prepared. He wasn't even um, supposed to be doing this. He's not even strong enough. He doesn't even have an education or he doesn't even have this. She doesn't even have this, you know, or, you know, she doesn't take care of her kids. Just lies, you know, making up lies to gang up on you to make people make you feel bad for what you did that you left this person alone. Or like I said, it just feels like you either left them or you moved out of town. Maybe you didn't do the job you didn't go somewhere you didn't go the place they wanted you to go some of you guys this person wanted you to go to a certain college or something i don't know girl i'm <laughs> but this is the nine of wands it shows me that you coming out out of this you know it's the wounded world you pulled yourself back up and, and um after all this 
you're finally, you know, picking yourself back up and getting things back into alignment. This could have been a Scorpio energy. A Leo is here. It's showing up. I don't do signs, but I like to call them out just in case, you know, you connected to that sign. But this is the death card. An ending. There's an ending putting. There's an ending being put to this person who's talking about, talking about you, your father or this father figure who's trying to ruin your reputation and stalking it. Well, not stalking. Why did I say stalking? Some of you guys shit your daddy or your father. The father of your child might be stalking you, okay? Just gonna throw that out there because it came out like that. But they ganged up on you. This family, you know, they tried to get you to stop what you were doing. The human sacrifice kind of represents them sacrificing what you chose to do. They're trying to sacrifice you what you chose to do, okay, in life. Maybe you decided to get married to another person and they didn't want you to get, get married or be with this person. Whatever the decision is, we're just gonna call it a decision. You made this decision and this person was not, they were not happy about it, okay? This decision was talked about around a lot of people. I felt like they gathered around together in like um, family meetings, family unions, family, doing family things together and discussing you like you their main topic. Like, why is y'all talking about us? Why are you talking about the chosen ones, okay? But that's what they did. But I see you coming out of, I see you coming out on top, the sun car. Some of you guys are gonna be graduating or I see you like getting your license, getting your, whatever you're going to for school. I see you getting a license or your, and it's also showing me something about a car. Maybe this father tried to stop you from driving, like your car did something to your car to keep you from thriving or keep you from going. Something about a car. Like I said, this could be a father, it could be a child's father, whatever this is. Woman that's in a dominating energy, but it's something about your car that they did something to, but I see you working hard. You're still able to build. You're still able to, to take care of your life, the eight of pentacles and the seven of pentacles. You're still able to do it because you got people that's around you that's supporting you. I see an older guy. Like, I don't know if this is your grandfather or an older ancestor that's showing up here. They're helping you. They're going to help. This is who's going to help you, your grandfather or your, this older guy. Is gonna help you to be able to get the money that you need. See this? Or to, to help you to help you to take care of whatever you got going on here. You see that? They're guiding you. Even though it seems like your father or your this male figure is the reason why stuff was going wrong or things weren't going right in the decisions that you made. It seems like this father or this person was jealous of you that you were able to do differently than, and they didn't get a chance to do that. Cause of course, back in the day, they had to just work. Like they just had to do whatever they, what they had just to make money for the family, not being able to choose the life. And I feel like this father or this person just really wanted what was better for you or they wanted you to do better than them, but you chose not to do that. Like, but you doing what they did. Like what? I don't know. They ought to be happy, but I see you celebrating. I see a lot of celebrations. People are gonna come together and help you with this situation too. Other people, you, you got people with behind you, helping you. So if there's a car, if it's something about your car, someone's gonna help you pay for your, to get your car fixed or they're gonna help you move or you're celebrating getting your license or celebrating getting your business license, something like that. Some celebration is here. And after that, <laughs> your this father figure comes begging back to you, they're, they're bowing down because you're on top now. Like I told you, it's something about you and you get the you get the move, you get the travel, you get your car back, whatever this is, you getting it back, things are gonna be better. Okay, so then we got this higher thing. I mean, the high priest is showing up something right here. It's a woman here too, that's connected to the father who's a high priestess, who's like a witch or something. She's she's into magic spells, she like, she, like even in a high, when I think about the high priestess in the right away deck, I think of a woman and there's like a picture there. You see a picture, I think, I believe it's a picture on the side or someone took a picture to a high priestess to get some work done, to get you to stop. But you're much stronger than this high priestess because you're a sorceress, sorceress or something. They didn't know you knew your, know you knew how to remove magic from you. They didn't know you were connected to the most high as a chosen one. But now they know, like they, they're starting to get the, <laughs> Yep, they started getting this like this. I knew. I knew you was trying to bind me. I knew you was trying to keep me away from what I was doing. But bitch, I know. Okay? I know what I'm doing. Look at this. Look, look at her. 
Look at her, her red, what they, they call it, the arresting bitch face or something. Look at her face. She's like, bitch, I knew what you was doing. You, is you crazy? You must didn't know who I was. <laughs> see, this woman, they went to get, see, remember we seen the red light here. That's, that was trying to get you to stop, right? So this is the woman they go to, the green light. But your light is much brighter. You got the light of God on your life. So this is like a, uh, you, you divine, baby. You connected to the divine and they didn't even know it. Virgo energy showing up here as well. But I see you, I see, I definitely see you not really conversating or cutting these people off going into hermit with the people that were ganging up on you, trying to stop you, okay? I definitely see you going into hermit. I see some hermit energy here. Maybe you were in hermit before and you just was like, you know what? I'm, I did right to go in hermit with these people because I knew it. Like this reading is your confirmation. Like I knew it was something going on, okay? So anyway, then you got this Ace of Pentacles. This is the Ace of Scarabs, the Ace of Pentacles. That basically shows me that you're coming into new money, new, just a new life, a new stability. You're going to be way more stable because you're not focusing, you're not talking to these people anymore. You're not, you're, you don't have to depend on these people. You don't have to depend on your father no more. So you, you get more money by cutting this person out. Like your energy is on fleet with this person moving. Like you moving away from this person. So this brings this person into the, the hangman here. They're not going to be able to move forward because they tried to put that on you. It's like actually, it's actually something they created in their own life. Trying to do it to you. I see, oh my goodness, you got the Ace of Cups. I see new love, new emotions. I just see you being so much more happier since you move forward and, and decide to, to step into your spiritual side, to do more spiritual things, to keep yourself protected. I also see you getting a bigger, a nicer house in a gated community or something. You're in a gated community or in, in a place where you feel secure, like you have, you're able to have a fence, or you're getting a, a house with a fence or a house with, um, you're able to get your uh, security system. But I just see protection. I see you being protected, okay? Protected by the most high, all of that good stuff. I told you, and then there's justice. What's your justice? You get, you're getting what you want in this situation. How? With the will of fortune. Things begin to work in your favor. Things gonna work in your favor. He's gonna work it out now. What does it say? He's gonna turn it around and around and around. Yeah, yeah. Around. Yes, that will of fortune is gonna be turning around and around and around in your favor, baby. Do you hear me? The lover's card. And you still get the love that you want. If this is about love for you, you get the, you still get to have the love that you want. If they didn't want you to be with that person, that's their but Okay? We ain't got time for it. We finna pull some more cards. Okay? Make sure you guys are hitting the like button, sharing the video. And drop in the, uh, drop in the uh, comment section 1111 because you know you are a chosen one. Type in the comments 1111. And if you guys want to participate in... um supporting this channel you can give eleven dollars and eleven cent on cash up dollar sign dbt and just remember that i am doing personals as well so i'll mention that at the end of this video all right spirit what else would you like to know us to know concerning this message y'all i got my evil eye deck bam shout out to king aloha for this deck of cards Oh, okay. These two flipped over here. The other ones just flew out. I don't know what they're trying to do. They're trying. It must be a lot of people that was working on you. They ganged up on you. And you know, they was trying to show me a whole lot, but we just gonna take these three right here. Okay. And I feel like heart attack issues concerning your father or your stepfather or your this father energy here showing me some health issues. Someone was negatively um, affected. They tried to. This person tried to affect your health. Um, but but it affected them. Okay, this is health a health attack. It was supposed to attack you to try to keep you from moving forward. But it actually remember I said it's causing it to happen in their life. Okay, this is causing it to happen in their life. They they have health attacks. Um, the very attacks they sent against you is on them now. Okay, they have also the reckless magic. Someone is out to out of control and doing anything in anything to any and everyone they want without having remorse yeah somebody's out here doing a whole lot of work 
Yep, I feel like it's the family though. Like whoever this family is that's connected to this uh, male um, energy here, this masculine energy is definitely doing some, they're just out here doing stuff. Like, I don't know if they just learned, some of these people just learned magic. Somebody watching me just learned magic and they're doing any and everything to anybody without remorse. But they gotta realize this health attack, that's why their health is under attack. So understand chosen ones, that anyone that is trying to do magic on you, this reckless magic, they're doing it on for remorse. It's showing me this per the person that's doing it on you is having health attacks right now. So if you if you know someone who's just going like back to back to the hospital, who's going like getting in the ho that's in the hospital, they're in and out and then they're sick when they're not in the hospital, they're at the house or at work sick and they can't make it. It's like, it's just so much going on, even physically and mentally. It's just showing me that their health is under attack because they try to, they've been doing reckless magic to everybody, not only you, but everybody. Anybody that pissed them off, they go trying to do something on them. This, that's psychotic. Okay, so anyway, um, you got the victory card. It says, you will be the victorious, you will be victorious over any attacks against you, no matter what they do. You will win. Type in the comments, I win. Type in the comments, I win. I can't make this up. I told you, you coming out on top. Victory. But victory is here. You win. See, they can't stop you, baby. Who can stand against the win? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against the win? No one can. No okay, so um, if you when you get if you feel some type of way, you know during this time and all of this ganging up on you, trying to stop you and all that kind of stuff, spirit wants you to connect based on mother nature. Get into um, make sure you're getting in that grass or just chilling out in the, in the heart of nature. You know, eating your grapes, eating your fruit, just being amazing, just as you are and meditating. Okay, breathing in that good. What he say? What Ralph Smart say? He say breathing in a good piranha, good ass piranha. Okay, breathe it in, baby, so you can get yourself back together. That's gonna help you level and uh, get yourself back into a good vibration. Okay. You got the library it says take control of your own narrative. You can take control. You are able to do that, but I believe you know that they tried to make you as a puppet to to try to get you to do what they wanted you to do, but you have control. It says take control of your own narrative you can do whatever it is that you want to do okay you're able to make it in any way shape or form shape form or fa fashion because this is what you do you were meant to go out on your own and venture off and do things to, for yourself instead of following the lead of other people who are trying to run your life <laughs> all right y'all um i am doing personal all you have to do is cash out or dollar sign Diva TV and I'll hit you up. We're going to set you an appointment and I promise you, you will love it. Hit me up, okay? I look forward to hearing from each and every one of you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Peace, love, and light. Make sure you share the video and that's on period.